My goodness, finally, today is the day the release of Planet Zoo. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back. Good to have you here for our first playthrough of the campaign. I'll also be playing through a franchise mode on the uh, channel as well for live streams, so make sure if you're new here, make sure you click or tap that uh, notification bell and the subscribe button in order to see more. And, of course, if you like Planet Zoo, if you're excited, make sure you click or tap that like button. This is going to be awesome. Yep. We're going to go ahead and start with the uh, second mission and then go on to the third and fourth here as soon as they're unlocked. We've already done the first one. It looks like nothing has changed for that one, so if you want to see the very first intro mission, make sure you check the channel. I'll put it into a playlist. But for now, let's go on to the second tutorial and learn what there is to learn about Planet Zoo. Ready? Here we go. The Madagascar and uh, Simin Conservation Project. Wow, that's a, that's a mouthful. I woke up, by the way, uh, as early as possible in order to play this. It literally just downloaded. It's so super early in the morning, so uh, forgive me. But anyway, the Madagas Madagascar Simian Conservation Project. You can read more about it there. Let us begin. We're going to go work for uh, Bernard and I think his daughter, possibly, out in Africa, in Madagascar. Oh, man, look at that big old bear. Adjust the camera and the settings menu. Very good tips. This has been a highly anticipated game from all of you guys, so I'm so excited to finally be here. Uh, Planet Zoo, way more important than any sort of sleep. That's for, that's for sure. Oh, here we go. Wow, that is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Welcome to Madagascar. It's quite the change of scenery from dreary old England, huh? <laughs> Apart from the weather, I suppose. They don't call these places rainforest for nothing. <laughs> wow, this is beautiful. The zoo you'll be working in is an ape sanctuary where we're doing vitally important conservation work. Not just for apes, but for all kinds of species. But apes, well, apes are some of the closest relatives to humans there are. And yet, the way the world treats them is like, well, very much like some of us treat our actual relatives. True. <laughs> Literally true. Anyway, that's why I'm determined that our operation here does some good. Wow. If we can all leave some part of the world in a better state than we found it, we'll have lived lives worth living. And speaking of states, I have a horrible feeling I left the house in a right one. Oh, that's <laughs> so cool, back, that bridge. I expect my life won't be worth living at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. What do you think of Madagascar then? Hi, ma'am. It's warm for my tastes, to be honest. Anyway, this is Bernie's primate sanctuary. Wow. It's not just primates, though. We've got all sorts of animals. So why don't we go and have a look at some of them, eh? Yes, ma'am. We'll start by taking a look at the red ruffed lemurs. They're the ones that look like they should be in a Shakespeare play. <laughs> Come on, let's head over to them. Shakespeare play? I wonder what she means by that. That's uh, over there highlighted. Okay, we've got our objectives here, but I'm way too excited, so let's get into it right away. Look at this beautiful zoo. This gives me so, so many ideas for my own. Yeah. Woo! Look at those beautiful waterfalls. Oh, my goodness. I've done so many of these things already, but this is already giving me so many great ideas. Beautiful trees and another yet beautiful waterfall here. Very, very cool. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. All right, let's go right over to the uh, lemur cage then. Where was that? Uh, is this it here? This kind of looks like an area for lemurs, doesn't it? Oh. Oh, this isn't lemurs, but it's uh, something. Is that chimpanzees? Oh, Winnie the Winnie the bon Bonobo. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Our first little, uh, little primate there. That is amazing. Okay. Uh, over here is where we need to go. I see they all have these uh, similar Red climbing things. Red are found in the rainforest oh, of Masuala. That's in northeast Madagascar. Okay. Look at that tail. They can actually live anywhere from 15 up to 25 years. Fancy that, eh? Wow, look okay, at them, yeah. Okay, when you're ready, let's go find our Bornean orangutans. Okay, the orangutans are next. Okay, over here. There they are. Wow, he's on the bridge. The Bornean orangutan is such a marvelous creature. That's so cool. They're always a big favorite at any zoo they feature in. And they're also the biggest tree-dwelling animal on the planet. <laughs> Assuming you don't count any lions that got stuck up one. Oh, why don't you take a better look at them? Open up their information panel and go into the animal camera. Okay, let's keep an eye on this one. Animal camera. Uh, that's right there. Oh, look at him go. Oh, he is rolling. Aren't they just incredible? <laughs> when you're Get ready, out of here. let's go and have a look see at some of our beautiful bonobos. <laughs> oh. They're quite the characters. I already know where the bonobos bo 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 bonobo bows are. Alright, let's go check them out. 
Those are right up over here. Wow, look oh at the cool dear. enclosure. It looks like we've arrived just what? in time. What? One of the habitat's barriers has collapsed. Oh no, they're escaping. But wouldn't you know it, one of the bonobos has made a run for it. Uh oh. We'll need to catch them. Code but five. before we do, we should box up the other bonobos to stop them escaping too. Well, there he goes. Select the habitat boundary to bring up the habitat information panel. Okay. Select the habitat. Oh, yep. Okay. Good. Now open the animals tab. Uh, got it. And click on box all animals to box up the remaining bonobos. Got them. Now, we'll need a vet to recapture that escaped bonobo. Where do you go? But it seems our last one left. Oh, God, look at everyone. In the wild. They're getting That's out of here. Ideal situation. So, we'll need to hire a replacement, Sharpish. Go into the zoo section and then into the staff management area. Okay, zoo, staff management, got it. You can find it. all of your staff in here, but there's no time to go looking at their particulars at the moment. Yeah. Hire a vet. Got him. Now, click on one of the paths to place the vet in your zoo. Okay, right. done. Now, let's deal with our SKP before they can cause too much havoc. Use the animal alerts to jump to the escaped bonobo. And then, click on the call vet button to call the vet over to capture it. Can we do emergency capture? Uh, I guess not. Uh, click on the bobo -bo and then call vet. There it is. Oh. Oh, okay, that's the relief. <laughs> so while the vet deals with our bonobo friend, let's go fix up their habitat so they can't escape again. <laughs> Head back over there. Funny to see the people running. Look at this beautiful... Vi I can't believe this. This is amazing. So cool how it's built here on this like uh, chain of islands. That's really neat. All right, let's go back to the enclosure. As you can see, the barrier's collapsed. Someone's taken their eye off the ball, obviously. Let's get this one replaced. Select the barrier, and then we'll edit it. Delete the broken section of barrier and replace it with a brand spanking new one. All right. Done. Good. Now that we've done that, we need to make sure to add climb-proof barriers to the top. That way, the bonobos won't be able to climb out. Just make sure you've got the correct piece of barrier selected when you do that. Nicely done. And I think it's high time we unbox those bonobos, wouldn't you say? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> the poor mites will get sad if we leave them in there for too long. Select the habitat barrier to bring up the habitat information panel again. Okay. And then open the animals tab. And finally, click on unbox all animals to let them out. Wow, we're doing an unboxing some of them video today. Bursting for the toilet. There we go. All done. So, it turns out that as well as the old vet leaving, the zoo's mechanics did too. We'll need to hire a couple of new ones so we can help stop any more breakouts. You okay. see, mechanics do all sorts of helpful things around the zoo, but one of their most important jobs is taking care of the habitat barriers. <laughs> Without mechanics around to repair them, the barriers will crack, crumble, and fall down. That's true. And before you know it, we'll be overrun with escaped animals. Go into the zoo section and then into the staff management area again. Oh, wow, their uniform Hire has changed since Alpha, and then I think. click on a path to place them in the zoo. And then click on the path again to hire a second mechanic. As you can see, you don't have to go back into staff management if you're hiring lots of the same type of staff member. That's true. Oh, gosh, we have been busy, haven't we? we sure Good have. work there. I'm off for a cuppa. Oh, I think Bernie wants a word with you. Uh oh, am I getting let go now already? I've been here for 15 minutes. Oh, I hear you had a bit of an issue with an escape bonobo. Yes. The main thing is that you dealt with it swiftly. And more importantly, wow, it's raining. without the animals stealing someone's clothes, putting them on, and then walking out of the front gate. Oh my god, look at look at how you it see, actually bounces key off the rocks. responsibility for our vets is animal research. Researching animals allows vets to unlock new enrichment items, additional information for our education resources, enhanced breeding programs, and improvements to food quality. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the animal's food, not the vet's. <laughs> It'll take more than a research grant to improve the staff canteen. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, research is a key part of running your zoo. In order for a vet to undertake research, they require a research center. <laughs> and once again, that's something that this zoo is missing. So let's build one. I've marked out an area for you to put it. Okay. Wait, now, why does it have a... You've probably noticed that there's already a building where I want you to build the research oh, center. That's weird. Don't worry. 
You see, the building that's currently there is actually a hollow shell. So we're able to place our new building inside of it. If you select the research center for placement and then hover over the shell, you'll see that it asks if you want to add the research center to the existing building. Okay, click to add it to the building. Oh, but that won't place it in just yet, though. First, we'll need to rotate our research center so it automatically connects to the path when we place it. Yeah, I think we got it, ma'am. Right. Splendid work. Now that we have a brand spanking Oops. new research center, <laughs> we can give our vets something to do in there. Oh, by the way, it's worth noting that the vets will only do research the when detail. they're not required to do any other jobs. That said, you can change what jobs a vet does via their information panel. But let's not worry about that <gasps> just now. So, wow. let's get our vet researching ring-tailed lemurs. Okay. Go into the zoo section and select vet research. Here, you can see a list of all the animals present in your zoo. Oh, wow. And also all the potential diseases that can right. occur. Now, drag and drop your vet onto the ring-tailed lemur to start their research. Drag and drop the vet onto the lemur. Got it. Actually, thinking about it, I'm not sure we've got any education boards or speakers by the lemur's habitat. Let's head over there and add some. So our guests can learn all about the furry little delights. Yes, ma'am. Where are those little lemurs? She's talking about the little ones? Okay, let's see. Ah, here they are. First off, let's pop down two education boards. Place them on the habitat barriers at a height that guests can see, or, if you like, pop them down on a stand. All right, so we got to put down an education board. That should be a pre-built thing. Oh, it's under facilities. It's been a little while since I've played now. So here we go. Uh, screens and camera. Just need to delete my research there. Oh, there was a pre-built one that I always enjoyed. Did they get rid of it? I really enjoyed the pre-builds. Oh, darn. Oh, here. They already put them there for us. Okay, I can put one there. And one there. Got it. Now we just okay, need to turn them on. Now that they've been put into position, we have to tell them what animal to display information about. Select one of the education boards to bring up its information panel. And from the drop-down list, select ring-tailed lemur. Way ahead of you, my Although friend. Although I'm sure that last part was obvious. Yes. When you link an education board or a speaker to an animal, you need to make sure that said animal is close by. If it isn't, the guests will get confused and won't learn as much. Okay, now that we've done the education boards, let's pop down a pair of speakers. Speakers play audio to the guests so they can learn while they look at the animals, instead of having to go through the laborious process of reading. Yes, of oh, course. One thing to bear in mind is that it's important wow, not to put people. the speakers too close together. If you do, the guests won't be able to understand what's being said. So if I put a speaker in the TV, that'll look a little bad. Let's put it... Uh... Put one here and one here for sure. There's tons of people here. And then we'll put another one over here. Now we simply need to link the speakers to the <laughs> ring-tailed lemurs. That's good enough Just for like now. you did with the education boards. Yes, ma'am. I wonder if there's a way to do multiple at a time if I can hold shift. Okay, where do we... Oh, I put the speaker down there. Oops. There are better ways to hide these, but I guess since it's just a tutorial, we'll just kind of sneak it in there for now. Clearly, I wouldn't want to put this in my spectacular zoo, my big build zoo. I can't wait to build my own zoo. Oh, we're going to do it. Oh, Fantastic. we're going to do it. Oh, it's worth remembering that education boards and speakers both need power to work. They won't do much good without it. Look at all of these Ooh. people. It looks as though our vet has completed their research on ring-tailed lemurs. Look at this. This is we crazy. We need to collect the results. We can do that by clicking on the notification or by going back into the vet research area. Go on, yeah, there we go. collect your research rewards. Just so you know, vets will continue to research an animal even after successfully completing a research level. That's good. <laughs> I suppose when you're in the zone, you're in the zone. Well, now that we've enriched the lives of our guests, let's enrich the lives of our ring-tailed lemurs. Some animals, like lemurs, will have a climbing need. That means they have a requirement for a certain amount of climbing space. 
and you can fulfill that requirement by building them a climbing frame. Let's find out how much more climbing space our lemur friends need. Shall they we? have a little piano. Select one of them and bring up their information panel. All right, let's click on one of these bad boys and figure out Next, how big they want. click on the terrain tab. Terrain tab. Okay, so that's this one here. Ah, now, as you can see, the lemurs need quite a lot more climbing space. Right. But as it happens, I've already got a climbing frame blueprint built for you. Oh. So you can either pop that down or build one yourself from scratch. Well, thank By the you. way, it's not always just climbing needs that you have to worry about. Other animals might need a certain amount of water in their habitat so they can go for a swim. <laughs> they certainly do keep us on our toes. So here's the blueprint that she built for us. I think we'll just go with this so we can see the rest of the tutorial as soon as possible. You can hear them playing the piano out there. Sounds like my uh, ability to play. Alright, let's pull this over here. The... Uh, Planet Zoo community, just like Planet Coaster, if you were familiar with that game where you build your own theme park, is incredible. There's so many talented people out there that are just going to be blowing your minds with what they come up with for their designs. It's going to be so cool. Let's go ahead and put this climbable area maybe over here. And we'll scoot some trees around maybe. Well, it doesn't look like it'll let me move it. Okay. How much more do we need, ma'am? So let's try to put down another one if they need it. Wow, look at how tiny he is. How are we doing on climbable area? Looks like we're in the green, so that's good. What's this here? Uh, oh, there's visiting players. Oh, I got a friend visiting me. Can we can we say hi? There's people who are already playing. Hello. I don't know who that is, but hi. Somebody named Rare, and then somebody named Square. Okay. <laughs> well, hello to both of you. All right, let's see what we need to do. Uh, where's our objectives here? Uh, trophies? There we are. Silver. Satisfy required climbable area for all ring-tailed lemurs. Well, we did get it into the blue, but I suppose I could add a little bit more to spice it up. Let's try something custom now. So we'll go back to habitat, and then we'll build our own little add-ons, I suppose. Maybe we can add some little uh, cool little platforms or something to it. Let's try to do... Let's do a big platform. Not that big. Let's do... Uh, Maybe something like this. There we go. And we'll add that to be supported here. There we go. Oh, that's kind of off a little bit, isn't it? Oh. Oh, actually, you just click there and it... Ah, perfect. That's kind of cool. Well, what is that noise? Oh, cool, he's coming in to clean. Very cool. Oh, we also need to upgrade their food quality, too. Okay, let's go back to facilities and get this done. Uh, habitat, rather. So let's try to put down some more climbable area. Climbable log. Now, of course, we don't want to put the uh, climbable stuff near where they could climb out of the enclosure, so it's a good idea to just kind of do it over here. Let's see. Climbing frame for them. Thank They're going you. to absolutely love it. I hope so. Do you know what would make them even happier though? Money? Nicer food. Oh. But that's true of all of us though, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. You no, can you're unlock right. better quality food for animals through research. Luckily, we've already unlocked some for the lemurs, so all that remains is to make sure they get served it from now on. Let's bring up the habitat information panel by selecting the lemur habitat. Uh, there we go. Lovely. Now select the Animals tab. There we go. As you can see, we can set the food quality in here. Ah. Just click on the drop-down menu and select Grade 2 Food Quality. Grade 2 Food Quality. My mouth's already watering. That's my favorite grade. So, a new climbing frame and better food. Oh, you've really spoilt those lemurs rotten. <laughs> Now, I think it's time we looked at one of the zoo's most important responsibilities. Releasing animals into the wild. You see, when we feel an animal is ready, we can release them into the wild. But what makes an animal a good candidate for release? Well, their age is an important factor. I mean, we can't release an animal that's a juvenile, just as we can't release one that's gotten too old. 
they'll also need to be fertile. After all, the idea is to repopulate the wild, so the best candidates will have a high fertility gene. And together, ah. the age and fertility of a candidate will determine how many conservation credits we'll be rewarded when we release them. Now, conservation credits are vitally important. They're the lifeblood of your zoo, because earning them allows you to adopt even more animals. And what's more, the animals you can adopt will be of a higher quality. So, with that in mind, let's pop over to our orangutan habitat. All right, let's go over those orangutans. Okay, I'd like you to Look find Ageng, the Borean <laughs> orangutan in the habitat, and select him, please. You can either click through each orangutan in turn, or select the habitat barrier, go to the animals tab in the habitat information panel, and find him in the animals list. All right, so we're looking for somebody in specific, right? We're looking for this guy? Uh, release Egung to the wild. Okay. So how do we release him? Uh, well, there he is. I guess I gotta click on him. Oh, he's trying to get away. No, you don't. There we go. Wow, look at that. He's a gold star. Animal appeal is 8,500. Wow. All right, let's release to the wild. Wow, we get a thousand conservation points for that. That's amazing. All right, let's go. I know it's sad to see him go, Bye. but he'll be happy out in the wild. Yeah. And he's a wonderful candidate for release. Young, strong, and fertile. Excellent work Same. there. You've definitely got potential, you know. Thank you. All right, on to gold then. Wow. Ah, I see you've been doing some homework. Although, it hardly seems like work when you're learning about something as adorable as a ring-tailed lemur. New areas to I build. imagine I'd have got much better grades at school if there'd been less algebra and more aldebra. Tortoises. Okay. okay. So far, <laughs> we've done a lot of work with habitat animals. But now it's time to learn all about exhibit animals. Oh, cool. Let's build a brand new exhibit. They've I've marked an oh, area for our new exhibit. How it's about we head over there? Raptor's looking at a toilet. Lovely. Now let's build a new exhibit in the gap that's been left. Just add it to the building like we did with the research center earlier. Then pop it into the gap. Sorry, ma'am. I was distracted. Raptor, this game is beautiful. Also, Raptor, looking at toilets. All right. Okay, so we've got uh, an exhibit to build, which is basically where we're going to look at uh, things like uh, snakes and uh, little bugs and lizards. There he is right there, like an iguana or something. That is one thick boy. Whoa. What is that in there? Let's take a look. That is an iguana. The lesser Antillian iguana. Lesser? Why is he so less? Oh, maybe he's lost some weight or something like that. Good for you. He's working out. Good for you. Strong. Strong and independent. All right. Let's go to facilities. Let's go to uh, exhibits. Wow, they've lowered the price. It used to be 5000 All right. Let's pop this in then. See if we can squeeze it in. And let's see what we can do here. Uh, build a new exhibit. Okay. Doesn't look like it needs to be connected to the path, does it? Seems like they can just put it wherever. According to the other one, it seems to just be placed there. So let's see if we can raise it up a little bit. I guess it's just got to touch the path. This is going to be a little tricky since it's a, kind of a hidden object. Looks like we had it there for a second. Come on now. need to get it to connect to the path that should be good right there perfect thank the you the next thing to do is adopt an exhibit animal to go in there how about a gila monster what? open up the exhibit trading section and adopt one a gila monster what is that i have no idea what that is we're buying monsters now oh wow look at that thing whoa 498 dollars ma'am i'm gonna need to take out a loan just as we do with habitat animals we need to send the gila monster to the exhibit Click on the exhibit to send it there. I can also do it this way. When you send an animal to an exhibit, it'll automatically be given the correct setup. But that doesn't mean it's completely ready for them. So let's finish it off. We'll start by adding some enrichment items. Click on the exhibit to bring up its information panel. Do you see him? Where's the Gila monster? I don't even see him in there. Good. Now click on the layout tab. Oh, layout tab. 
Oh, well, it looks like we've only got the enrichment level one items unlocked at the moment. Never mind. Let's turn on at least one of them for the healer monster. Let's go with hiding place C. As I'm sure you know by now, you can unlock more enrichment levels by having one of your vets do some research. Now we'll also need to set the temperature and humidity in the oh, exhibit. There These are vitally important for keeping our healer monster happy and comfortable. Click on the climate tab. There he is. It's a cactus. All right, climate Here, tab. You can see the healer monster's desired temperature and humidity. You can change both of these by adjusting the dials below. Make sure it's going to be nice and cozy. All right, so he wants it almost to be like 40 Celsius. And then humidity needs to be at, uh, ooh, about like maybe 10, 20%. Let's try 10 and see how that works. I still don't see him. I have no idea where he might be. I'm probably looking right at him, but I don't see him. That's one exhibit that I'd spend all day looking at. I'd be like, oh, sir, uh, he's actually, uh, we're actually cleaning his cage. Like, oh. Yeah, he's not in there. All right, let's try 20%. That's the ticket. No, nope, little, little lower. And the last thing we need to look at is setting up the different windows. So click on the Windows tab. Oh. Are we going to get him an operating system? You can any of the windows on an exhibit. A window can be closed and blank or have a two-dimensional background or even a three-dimensional background on it. Why don't you have a play around with the options? Okay. There's also an exhibit education Ooh, board. Cool. Pop them down near exhibits to teach your guests about them. Let's add one now. All right, so we're going to add something. We're adding education boards now. Good. Let's do some learning. Um, Uh-oh. She wants me to just do these again? Oh, this. Exhibit education board. It's more like a little banister or something like that. Kind of cool. Uh, it doesn't seem to snap very easily, ma'am. I think we should deselect it and put it out here. Oh, there's a bush beneath it. Okay, let's try to do this again. Go to uh, facilities, education board. There we go. This is what we want. There we go. Perfect. Oh, well, that's uh, not so perfect. Oops. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean to put that in your face. Just like the education boards and speakers we put down for the ring-tailed lemurs. There we go. You'll need to link these to the healer monster. Go on. Done. Lovely stuff. Now our guests can learn all about our venomous friend here. Right. He's venomous? Now, I've got a bit of a big job for you. I need you to increase the number of species in the zoo. You'll probably want to adopt both habitat and exhibit animals to do so, which will mean building plenty of new habitats and exhibits for them. Go on, off you pop. I'll check in with you when you're almost done. Hmm. Well, we could build an exhibit here. Looks like there's already a perfect, like, viewing platform. Well, kind of. There's an area for everyone to view here. But there is a water pump purifier nearby, so the animals might not like that. But there is a little bit of potential here. But let's see what exactly she wants us to do. Uh, some animals have been in a box too long. Oh, what happened? Oh, uh, there is a glitch in the game sometimes where animals will get stuck in a box near the door when the veterinarian... Uh, treats them for some reason, so hopefully they buff that out. That was still an issue from the uh, beta as well, where they kind of just seem to get stuck in a box for whatever reason. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Oh, and then we got hippie protesters. Yep. Oh, the protesters. All mad. Oh, they ruin your game. Let's see. Uh, zoo alerts. So let's go on with this. Research is complete. Good. Excellent. More ringtail lemur research complete. Uh, let's do some research for the... Let's do a different animal now. Let's try to research our uh, orangutans look good. I guess whatever our lowest animals are, which in this case would be our Gila monster. So let's do that. Okay, so back to our goals. Let's get working. So have at least 12 species in the zoo. Increase the average habitat uh, species overall welfare to 90%. Wow. All right, so we have 9 of 12 animals. 9 of 12 species. So that means we need... Uh, Maybe three more enclosures, or we can an add animals that are uh, somewhat uh, friendly to each other. So let's get doing that. Uh, so let's go to uh, 
Well, actually, let's find some spaces to put them. So we've got one area here, two here, and we need like a third one. And this would be good, but we'd have to build a path over there. Is there anywhere else we could squeeze one in, maybe? Or we could build another uh, exhibit, too, to kind of like uh, fake it out a little bit without having to build too big of an enclosure. Well, let's build our first enclosure, then. Uh, our first barrier, which I think would be good here. We can probably build like a barrier this way, just so it doesn't, you know, this is kind of like a private area over here uh, for maintenance and such. So let's get going. Let's do a, a barrier and we'll build ourselves a new habitat. Oh, what do we got here? Glass, wood? Let's go with the wood logs. Those seem to be quite uh, fitting for our purposes here today. So we're going to build this, I guess, from down here near the fence. We might have to expand the fence. I'm also surprised that some of the animals can't escape the fence. That's pretty amazing that uh, some animals like can't climb the fence. You'd think that'd be perfect for them to climb, but I guess not. All right. Actually, before we finish this, let's see what other animals we have in store. Animal trading. What would be good for us? Uh, looks like this is our primate zone, so let's try to keep it to like uh, all you know primates and such. Hippopotamuses and such are cool, but uh, let's see what else we've got. Let's sort by animal, maybe, by species. Ah, here we go. We have red lemurs. Hmm. I don't know if we have these. Mandrills. Let's see if we've got mandrills. Let's see what we've got in our zoo so far. Uh, animal trading. No. Yes, we want to take a look at the zoo, actually. Uh, let's go to animals. There we go. So we have hippos already. We've got mandrills, it seems. Uh, apparently we have hippos. Where are they? Uh, let's see. Move. Where could they be? Maybe they're in storage? Mm, I don't think so. They should be in animals. Uh, let's see. Where's the storage tab? I forgot. I've forgotten exactly where that is. Oh, good. We have exhibits here. Uh, so we have four. Oh, we actually have an em two empty uh, exhibits here. Actually, just one. Okay, let's go to this one. Let's assign another one real quick, just to get ourselves some free points. So let's request an exhibit animal here. Uh, stored animals are zero. Good. We'll buy another one then. Since this is a zoo I haven't been to before, there's a lot of little secret areas that we haven't yet seen. So let's go to the animal market. Uh, let's go to... Actually, we need to go to the exhibit. Exhibit trading. Oh, there's no trades available? Really? Aw. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's see. We need a new species. We've already got the giant burrowing whatnot. Oh, wow, we can get snails? Cool. Gila monsters. Oh, the frogs would be really cool. Let's go for some frogs. Let's get ourselves a... Uh, yeah, let's get ourselves one of these boys. Boom. There we go. Let's uh, make sure his temperature's good. Looks like he's okay. And let's go ahead and add a layout if we can. Looks like we haven't researched it yet. Okay, well, that's ten animals now. So that's good. Ten species. Let's make sure it counts. And there it is. Ten. Okay, so now we just got to build two more habitats. Now we had hippos, apparently, in our storage. Uh, let's take a look here. Animal storage. There it is. Oh, that's weird. We don't have it. But if we look at the zoo, it seems like there are animals here. Hippos, right? I thought we had hippos. There they are. Oh, they are here. Oh, there they are. Wow, they're really hidden because they have such a huge area. They get to hang out down here. Oh, that's so cool. Awesome. All right, so hippos are a no-go for us. So we'll need to buy something that we don't have yet. So let's take a look back at the uh, zoo. So we've got hippos. We've got mandrills. What are those? Oh, a different type of mandrill. Female. We've got lemurs. These are both, I think, male and female. Yep. The females look so cool. Their picture is awesome. All right, so we got red ringtail lemurs, or ruffled. We got ruffleds, mandrills, hippopotamus, frogs, orangutans, bonobos. Okay, we got to find something that's new. So let's go to the trading menu. I guess we'll buy something first so we can figure out how to make a, a habitat for it afterwards. I guess it's always good to adopt first and then build. Otherwise, you're going to be having a bad time. Can we sort any species? Let's do... Oh, let's see. Should we get some tigers? That'd be kind of cool. A Chinese pangolin. A pang pangolin? Oh, wow. I never heard of that before. Gemsbok. Grizzly bears. Oh, let's see. Red pandas. Oh, can we get a red panda? Nope. Doesn't look like that's available. 
All right, I guess we'll just have to sort through the menu then. Let's sort by uh, most expensive. We could go for something cheap too, but let's try to find something cool. Although I think we have most of these already. These uh, climbing animals. Yeah, we already got the mandrills, already got the red lemurs, orangutans already. All right, we're going to have to have something completely new then, since we've already got quite a few of the primates already stored. Oh, looks like, wait a minute. The only thing we can really buy is the bard's tapir, I guess. Okay, let's buy one of those, because I can't actually uh, find anything else that's new. All right, so let's buy a male and a female of that for now. And then an animal we don't have. This is really fun to look through. This, this game is so beautiful. The rain and everything like that. When we played in the early access part of it, there was none of this. This is just so gorgeous, let me tell you. I cannot wait to play this more. I'm already playing it. I can't wait to do, like, more. <laughs> like, I want to see more of this game. This is wonderful. A great game to be able to learn. Good for kids to teach everyone. Good for me. I don't know everything. It's quite obvious, YouTuber. But, <laughs> yes, I know. Okay, I don't see another animal for us yet. But let's try to put our little, uh, essentially these guys are like aardvarks or something like that. Well, they're not aardvarks, but they're kind of like it. So let's go ahead and finish up our barrier. Luckily, these guys aren't too, um, they're not really down with escaping. They're pretty well behaved. So let's put down a little, uh, enclosure over here. And then we'll try to, uh, see if we can, there we go, put it there. Now, there is a way for us to not have to make a barrier all the way under there. So we can change it over to, uh, null. Which means that the animals uh, can't escape here. Which means they can't cl really climb up that area. It's too large. What is all that stuff? Cool little decorations and lighting? That's neat. What a game. Alright, we'll put our uh, rest of our barrier underneath. Now, of course, I'm just speeding through this so I can see more of the game. But uh, you can take your time to place every little piece of object and fencing and everything everywhere. Incredible. And I don't know where there's a little fence here, but these guys shouldn't be able to escape. So that's another habitat. Good. Uh, we need to make an enclosure gate now so the uh, the staff can get over there. So I do need to make a little uh, something or other over here. So let's try to edit the barrier again. Let's try to add a gate to it. And I'm going to try to make it so they can get from over here to over there. It is a little tricky to build paths in the game, but we should be able to do it. All right, there's our path now. Tricky, but not impossible. I've just noticed you got to kind of do things a little differently. Should be able to make it over there, though. Hopefully. These trees may be in the way. Terrain modification failed. Well, we're not trying to modify. Let's scoot this tree over. We'll put it over here for now. Great part about the game is that you can temporarily move things, get it out of your way, and then bring it back. The hippos aren't going to be too happy about that, but at least we're good for now. All right, one more species, and we got a gold star. This is exciting. All right, let's see if we can make some stairs. Oof. Yeah, you, you can see I was what I was talking about, having trouble placing things. Sometimes it's almost easier to build your pathways first and then build your gates. Oh, there we go. Ooh, ooh, I don't want it to make a... Oof. Yeah, the game always tries to make like these giant tunnels and stuff. It almost looks like I'm building missile silos now in order to uh, put pathways down, but that's okay. I just need to learn a little bit more. Let's try to put down a gate somewhere else then. Let's try to, can we scoot this gate over? Oh, lovely, that's so cool. We can pretty much put it anywhere we want. Oh, there we go, excellent, perfect. All right, now we need to just put a feeder down and let's bring that tree back over here. Sorry, hippos, I didn't mean to keep it there for too long, but there we go. Switch this tree around a little bit. And we'll lower it down, too. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's put our animals in here. So we got to go to zoo. No, animal trading, storage. And we'll pop these two in there. Excellent. Oh, looks like they already gave us one. Oh, no, they gave us two. I bought two. I thought they gave us a freebie, but they did not. All right, when these animals arrive, then we can click on them and find out how, it, how they feel about the uh, enclosure. It's quite a large enclosure. We could put way more animals in here, which will, of course, increase the rating. While we're waiting for their delivery, let's see what else we can do. There's certainly another area over here to build on, too, uh, which might allow us to build maybe like a path here and then put some more animals here. Very quick, very cheap. But I think we should do another exhibit just because I want to 
try to put one of those down. I think they're actually really cool to put those down. And they might be a good thing to put right in the middle. So we could build like a little hut here. Copy and paste that, that type of thing. But first, let's make sure our animals here are happy. Because we do need to get animal welfare up to 90%. So let's take a look. Alright, so there's certain animal, uh, certain trees this animal doesn't like. So the Bengal bamboo has to go. So that's like right here. So they don't like that. Uh, what else don't they like? Uh, let's see. We need to get their enrichment up too so their happiness is high. So we need to get rid of the bamboo. Uh, the uh, bobob tree. This thing over here is just hanging over a little bit. The be boob the boobob tree needs to scoot. There we go. So let's get rid of a few things. We can put it elsewhere. It just can't really be over their enclosure. A few things that they don't like remaining. So let's see. The uh, umbrella thorn. I think that's this thing here. Yeah, oh yeah, it highlights it for you if you hover over it. So that bush there, which apparently isn't in their thing. Okay, let's get these remaining ones moved out of here. And we can move these over here temporarily and then decorate the rest of the park with them. So that'll be just fine. I think it was these little bushes they didn't like. These little things. Not part of their natural habitat. But we can add things they do like later. Alright, let's take a look. How you guys doing now? Just the, uh, oh, this tree is hanging over a little bit too much, I see. Okay. It doesn't have to be moved completely. You can always have it hang over a little bit. If it makes them a little unhappy, that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can fix it with other trees. And one last thing is these three bushes here. So let's scoot these over here. There we go. And that should be it. At least for their unhappiness. Now we can start enhancing it with more stuff they actually want. So let's take a look here. Oh yeah, we're good to go. Now they want more plants. So they want stuff from tropical, temperate, or grasslands. Let's do some grassland stuff. Uh, let's see, habitat. Nope, nature. Grassland. So we can filter that. So we go to uh, biome, and we can go to grassland. And then apparently it is Central and South America. So we can try to uh, filter that way. Continent to uh, South America, Central America. And it looks like we've got nothing for them at all. Let's just sort by South America then. Uh, so they like uh, temperate grassland or tropical. Let's try that. Temperate or tropical. There we go. Ah, now this is a little bit better for them. So let's try a holly tree. Let's put a couple of those around. And it looks like they do like those, so that's good. Wow, look at the effects. I can't believe it. The rain is so cool. Okay, let's add a few holly trees here. Oh, that's a big boy. I don't want one of those yet. Put a couple of lobster claws down. Wow. We're treating our animals so well, they're getting lobster for dinner. Very nice. Okay, how are we doing on the rating here? Still want a lot more plant coverage. That's actually a really good one to put down. If we put down a huge tree, they're really going to like that. So if we put down like a mangrove or something that's big, they'll be totally down with that can't see the palm trees. There they are. Do they like the palm trees? So our enclosure is going to look a little unattractive, but with more time we can add water and make it look a lot more beautiful. Like me! Alright, let's just add a few little doodads here and there just to get things done for now. A little hard to see with the rain, I'll admit, but I do like the fact that there's weather effects. Plus, that makes your customers, your, uh, your guests, purchase uh, more umbrellas and things like that. Now our animal welfare will need to be a little high, so we do need to make sure they're at 90%. So we will need to eventually give them enrichment, and we need to make sure we put down food and water. As you can see, they don't really have an area to swim, so we should add a little bit of water for them. And of course we need to put down some food stuff for them too, so let's put down a, uh, I believe they're herbivores. So let's go ahead and put down food enrichment for these guys. Uh, let's see, they are called the, what now? Uh, the bards. B A. Ah, good. So they'll like something like this. So let's put down a food barrel. And I see a perfect area for water right there. There's a big, big pit. We'll just have to get this guy to move around a little bit. Sir, if you could come over here, please. Just going to scoot you over there for just a quick second. There we go. Perfect. All right, now we add a little bit of water. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Where's the other one? Okay, how are they feeling? Uh, grass is a little too long, so we just need to get rid of some of that grass and then give them a hard shelter. So let's go ahead and, uh, makes me think of a hard shell taco. Yeah. Let's 
get some more short grass in here. So just a little spray painting. And we're not too far off from getting them what they need. So you'll do this for every single animal. And man, is that awesome. All right, that looks really good. Now we just need a hard shelter. So let's go with one of those. Let's try something small for these guys. Basic metal shelter. Oh, this looks good. Put that over in the corner for them to take a little nap. Looks like we need two of them, more than one. Weird, it's only at 8%. Now at 50%. I guess they want more than one spot to hang out or multiple places. That's weird, it went to 50% then back down to 19. That's kind of strange. Down to 60, 42. Might be based off the weather or something, but at least that's better than nothing. All right, and food enrichment is good. Let's try another thing for them. Food enrichment, of course, is just something for them to uh, enjoy themselves, to have a happier life. What we all want. All right, let's try this thing. A fruit spike and a uh, fun box thingy over here. All right, that should uh, increase their happiness quite a bit. All right, let's do another uh, exhibit. Hopefully I have another animal that I can buy. Let's go back to exhibit trading. Let's find something we don't have. Oh, yeah. We got to get the snails in here. Get, get ourselves some escargot. All right, perfect. We'll get two of them in there. A happy couple. So let's go for, uh, let's see, facilities, exhibit, which is here. Hopefully this attracts people over to this side of the uh, park. Although I can't put this down for some reason. Obstructed. Hmm. Well, it's not justice. I don't know if it could be obstructed. I wanted to put it down here to attract people over to this corner of the park. Can I, uh, I can put it here, though. Well, that's kind of weird to put it down at the bottom. Oh, we could put it up here, though. Let's try that. Maybe we could put it, like, here? I guess there's rocks or something underneath that prevent us from putting it there. So we can try to put it here. And, of course, we can put something underneath it to support it and make it look more realistic. Just like they did over here with the rocks. We can put a little rock here and make it look like it's sitting on top of the rock. Which is kind of a cool idea. There we go. Not perfect, but it'll work. Alright, let's add our animals then. Exhibit 684, request animals. Uh, oh, we can actually click two of them at once. Very nice. My, my, you have been busy, haven't you? Yes, ma'am. Splendid. But now that you've adopted all these lovely new species, we need to make sure they're nice and happy. So let's get the average welfare across the zoo nice and high, shall we? And by we, I mean you. Of course. Go on, get to it. I'm on it, ma'am. All right, let's put down a power facility here. This is, again, just temporary in order to complete our objective, but this is the perfect spot for another exhibit. So we can always add on to this later and redesign it, which is really cool. The fact that you can design something and then change it later is always cool. You can build and then redesign, and that's super satisfying. Okay, looks like the humidity and that are good. And it looks like we want some... I guess we'll put some hiding places for them. Okay, cool. Now let's take a look at animal welfare. So, uh, oh, looks like the animals are not happy over here. Uh-oh, no nutrition. Uh-oh, they haven't been fed. The beetles, cockroaches. Let's call a uh, staff member over. Looks like they're not moving. Let's hire a few more staff member, though. Make sure everything's going okay in the park. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, these look like mechanics to me. Oh, wait, no. Wrong tab. Ha, ha, ha. All right, we got plenty of these guys. Oh, plenty of keepers. Oh, we got plenty of everybody. Plenty of mechanics, plenty of security. Okay. Well, they just need to come over then. Animals starving. Yeah, come over here. Where's our employees? The, the little guy's starving. I'm trying to call a keeper over. Let's hire somebody real quick and drop them off right next to this place. Oh, there they go. He just got food. Okay, that, that fixed that problem. Sometimes it's just timing it in this game. Okay, vet research complete. Yes. All right, let's complete our goals for today then. Oh, wow, look at all the people visiting me. Hi, everyone. Wow. Oh, man, everybody on my friends list is playing this. Holy crap. Awesome, guys. <laughs> All right, we need to get habitat species up to 90%. We're at 85, so not too bad. Let's figure out who's unhappy. Uh, let's go to animals. Check out welfare at the lowest. It looks like the bonobos are a little unhappy, so let's go ahead and check them out. 
Uh, let's check out their house over here. And what can we do for you guys? How can we make you happier today? Um, okay. Grass is... Habitat is good. Although that's weird. It doesn't show green or anything like that. Happy with the trees. Hmm. Social group is probably high, right? Network grade 2 quality food. Hmm. Maintenance needs to come over here. I think it might be just because there's a little bit of poo on the ground. Uh-oh. Hippos are hungry, too. Okay, we just need our guys to come over. Did they tip this over? Oh, this is for them to play with, I think. They can just roll this thing around and play with it in the mud. All right, so I think it's all going to come down to timing. We just need animals to, uh, you know, be taken care of at the same time. Meaning that, like, some animals need their cage cleaned. We just need the employees to do the job. There he comes right now. Perfect. So that should clean that up. Excellent. Let's take a look now at uh, habit overall happiness in the habitats. How do we see that number again? I guess we'll go to the thing here. Still at 85%. Okay. Um, cool. Well, I'll see, we'll see you when we're done. I'll make a few changes. We'll get it done. You should be proud of there yourself. There we go, boys. Not only have you expanded the zoo and kept the animals as happy as Lanny, but you didn't bankrupt us in the process. Yay. Amazing. All right, we did it, finally. Gold stars, baby. I just added a piano. That's all it took to the uh, wow. enclosure. Well, you've certainly transformed the zoo. I barely recognize it. A wonderful new exhibit, some fascinating new species, and you've done wonders for the animals' welfare by enriching their habitats. <laughs> Who doesn't love playing with a three-foot-wide soccer ball, huh? <laughs> I mean, other than professional soccer players. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't easy, though. I expect money was tighter than a possum's pouch. Uh, Plowing no. all those funds back into the welfare of the animals doesn't make running these places a picnic. Although, it does make me feel a little less guilty about how much our gift shops charge. <laughs> wow. No, all right. As far as I'm concerned, the only reason to run a zoo is to help animal kind. Sadly, it appears some other people have far less noble goals. Okay, well, let's go on to the next mission. If you guys want to see more, click or tap that like button. Thanks for dropping by today, and I'll see you guys for my custom zoo and much more. Make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button and follow me for live streams of the uh, Sandbox playthrough. I'll see you guys next time for more campaign of Planet Zoo. Take care. See you soon.